Meghalaya, often called the abode of clouds in northeastern India, is home to Mohsenram and Cherrapunji, two of the wettest places on the planet. In this rain-soaked state, where 83% of the population depends on rain-fed agriculture, the monsoon is telling a very different story this year. In the 2025 southwest monsoon season, Meghalaya recorded the highest rainfall deficit in the country, 56% below normal. In absolute terms, it received less rainfall than even drier states like Jharkhand. From June 1st to July 28th, Meghalaya received just 690.7 mm of rain compared to a normal of over 1500 mm. Meanwhile, Jharkhand received 732.6 mm, well above its usual of 478.3 mm, an excess of 53%. In fact, seven states and union territories received more rainfall than Meghalaya this season. Most of them are places that are usually far drier. Only Goa among them typically sees more rain than Meghalaya during this time. This alarming shortfall is not a one-off. Long-term data indicates a worrying trend. A 2022 study published in the Journal of the Indian Society of Remote Sensing found that central Meghalaya was once the rainiest part of the state in the 1950s. But over time, drier zones have expanded across the west, center and north. The study used the Standard Precipitation Index, or SPI, to assess rainfall variability from 1951 to 2020. It highlighted that recent decades have seen relatively wetter conditions only in the southern and southeastern districts, such as East Khasi Hills, Jentia Hills, and Southwest Khasi Hills. Further evidence comes from the India Meteorological Department. According to their analysis of monsoon rainfall from 1989 to 2018, Meghalaya is one of five Indian states experiencing a significant decrease in monsoon rainfall along with Nagaland, West Bengal, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. Even Cherrapunji, once the world's rain capital, hasn't been spared. A 2021 study that looked at rainfall over 135 years from 1872 to 2007 found a decreasing trend in 7 out of 12 months. While Meghalaya's overall rainfall may still be higher than many other regions in India, the downward trend poses serious threats to its ecosystems, its crops and its people. The state lies within the Indo-Burma Biodiversity Hotspot, one of only four in India and 34 in the world. Species that have evolved to thrive in consistently wet conditions may now be at risk. For the thousands of farmers in the state, changing rainfall patterns are not just statistics, they're a question of survival. And as global warming continues to reshape our climate, even the abode of clouds is no longer assured of its rain.